Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. I am working with the Dainty Delight bundle today, including the uh, Dainty Flowers Designer Series paper, along with the, I never remember the name, sorry, the Dainty Delight dies, and the greeting from the Dainty Delight stamp set. So what I've done is I've created a bit of a window card, and um, there's some things about this one that I would do differently next time so this is now next time and I am going to do them differently uh, one thing I am going to do is I am going to add an embossing folder to the front because I find it a bit too plain so I'm going to use the time warm time worn type folder which means I need to set up for that so there we go um, what I did is I used one of the Stylish Shapes dies to cut a circle out of a piece of basic white. This piece of basic white is four and three quarters by three and a half. And I'm going to use it to cut a shape out of here so that I can see the five and a quarter by four piece of designer series paper underneath. Um, so I always die cut first and then emboss because if you die cut after you've embossed it flattens your embossing down so i've already used another stylish shape to cut out the greeting that i used second value rich razzleberry for it was too dark with the first one using the paper i used some fresh freesia ribbon and i colored it with the light blackberry bliss marker so I'm just going to put those out of the way for now. I need to cut my circle. Um, I tried to do some beforehand so it wasn't a really, really long video. Um, but I'm just going to move this one out of the way so that I can put this in front. I don't seem to be very organized tonight. I apologize, everyone. Usually, I like to be a bit more organized than I am today so you just you can measure it if you want I just go by sight and I'm just going to put a couple of sticky notes on there because I want it to stay in place then I'm going to run it through my stamp and cut and emboss which is just I apologize out of frame so I had lots and lots of response to my videos this week focusing on uh, using adhesive sheets and I've used adhesive sheets again uh, tonight. I've already done the work with it, but um, I've chosen to use some in some cases and not in other cases. And I'll explain why when I come to this. So now you've got a circle you can use for a greeting on something else if you want to. Just put that off to the side. I've done the die cut, so now I'm going to run it through the embossing folder. If you're never sure which side is the right side up, it's the side with the Stampin' Up! logo on it is what is meant to be the correct side up. Doesn't mean you can't use the um, images upside down or the uh, other side of the uh, detail. This is gonna bang here. There we go. All right, so we've got that run through the Time Worn type now. And we will just take that out and I'll just see this is the difference between the two this one has so much more detail a little bit more interest I find this one quite plain um, but sometimes I just leave my prototype the way it is because it helps you understand where I'm coming from I don't have all the answers sometimes I don't have any of the answers but what I need to do is I've got my card base. I've got a five and a quarter by four in the designer series paper. And on this one, I meant to put it down this way and I put it down the other way. So the flowers don't show up very well, but this is just flat mounted on here like this. And just line that up and let it drop. This I dimensionalized, and that is the reason that I didn't use the adhesive backing for the leaves. 
and I will show you that in just a minute. Let's pop this on. I'm trying to go a bit quickly because I don't want this to end up being a really long video. So I'm trying to move through it fairly fast. So if there is anything that I didn't explain very well or you need me to go over, just leave me a note in the comments and I can do another video just on that piece, just a little short, and then you can catch up. So there we go. So I'm just going to square this up, drop it down like that. And already you can see the difference in the detail. Now, with the leaves, this is the, the large die. I took my scissors and I just cut it in half. Just trimmed it off a little bit round so that I've got a bit more to use. And then you can just place them down the way you think they should go. And I'm going to glue these with just my glue, knowing that, sorry, I put just my hair in the frame. The outside is going to be attached to here. So I'm going to pop that down like that. Just kind of hold that in place. There we go. Sometimes you have to hold it down a little bit and then it'll take. And then we can place another piece on like this. By cutting it in half, I'm able to kind of extend down a little bit. Uh, the amount of coverage that I've got. So this one, I'm only going to put dabs of glue on the bottom because it's going to extend up into here. And that's why I didn't use it, uh, the adhesive backing for here. This is dimensionalized and I wanted the flowers to just, uh, the leaves to just lift a little bit. Now I am going, I did use um, adhesive sheets on the little flowers which are this die right here. It's one die, but it cuts out four individual flowers. So we're just going to take and do the rest of our leaves. Again, just putting some glue down at the bottom where I know it's going to be adhering. And I'm just gonna pop this under here, just like that. And any little bits that you don't like at the bottom, we can cover up with flowers. So it's not a problem. So yes, normally on these, I would use adhesive sheets on the, on the greenery as well. Uh, but I chose not to because I didn't want them to stick. I wanted them to be a little bit freer. Now this is going to slow me down a little bit too, is peeling the adhesive backing off these flowers because there's no edge to choose. So I thought about kind of pre-peeling them before the video, but I didn't. So feel free to fast forward. Here we go. So I'm going to pop one down at the bottom like that. And because I used the designer series paper and I put adhesive backing just on little strips of it, because that's all I needed, I've got the variegated kind of look that's on the paper. I didn't want solid cardstock um, and I had no need to do the baby wipe technique, which is what I was going to do because the designer series paper has done it for me already. So there we go. Sometimes you have to bend the edge to get it to come up. So yes, so for all of you out there who think I make it look it easy, it's not easy. <laughs> I have just as many <laughs> trials and tribulations with these things as you do. And I had one lady in the comments said, oh, I wish I could do things as well as you do. Uh, but I, my response was, you have no idea how many pieces of paper I actually end up throwing in the garbage because it just didn't work. I usually practice my designs on just cheap copier paper. And that way I'm not using my good cardstock um, for my wobbles. So... Again, I apologize, this is taking a bit of time. I'm just gonna pop one up there like that. And then I'm going to use a darker one in the middle. And when I'm done, we can compare the cards um, about all the things that I have improved in my version here that uh, I improved from my original. 
So come on, there we go. Pop this one just over here. You can hardly see it, but that's okay. I didn't, I wanted to use the darker one up at the top. So you just create your own flowers. And again, you can use any color you like. If you've got um, the, which paper is it? The Delicate Desert has some really nice Calypso coral paper that is um, variegated like that. And that's, that's really nice as well. So the ribbon, I just kind of folded it over, put some adhesive down like that. And then I can just pop my ribbon down on it like that. And then take this, dimensional's already pre-attached, there we go. That goes down there like that. And then I can pop this over top. So I think the version that I did in the video is much better than the version that I did as the prototype. Um, I love the detail with the embossing folder in the background. Um, and having the designer series paper the correct way around so you can actually really see all the flowers popping out. So thank you so much for watching and your patience while I peeled all of those flowers. And let's create together again soon.